Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mike, and today we are going to draw a grandfather clock. <gasps> a grandfather clock? That looks really complicated. How are we ever going to do that? Well, you know what? I believe in you, and I think we can work through this drawing together. Did you know that we only need four basic lines and shapes to create this? A rectangle, a line, an arc, and a circle. Well, that's not that hard. Let's see how it all fits together. All right, well, let's make sure that we have enough room to make the whole grandfather clock on the paper. Okay, we're going to start at the top and work our way down the page. And at the top, we're going to put an arc right in the middle of the page. Just like that. Then we're going to do two more arcs. We'll do one on this side and one on this side. Now we're going to use a line. We we'll want the line go out then another one on this side and it'll go out like this away from the center next we're going to do a short line on this side and then a short line on this side now we're going to bring a line in it's going to go from here all the way over to here and stop and the same thing on this side we're going to go toward the middle now so from here we'll go toward the middle and stop now we're going to do the same series of arcs, except lower. So we'll do an arc here, stop, bring it to a point. We'll do another arc here, and stop, bring it to a point. And then we're going to connect this right here with another arc, just like that. Now if at any point in this video you need to pause to catch up, feel free to, to hit pause so you can catch up and then join in, okay? Next we're going to add a line here and the same thing on the opposite side all right next we're going to add another line we'll start just outside see where this line is here we're going to come down and we're going to do a line and then bring it into right about here right where this point is down where this point is we're not drawing we're just seeing where this point is you put your line right start it right here and you're gonna go all the way to that line and connect and then you go a little bit further see how this line comes out that's where we're going right there all right next we're gonna do a line down and another line down on this side and then we're going to bring this and like this and then we're going to do the same thing here we're going to start here and we're going to come over okay now we're going to have an arc that's going to go like this an arc that goes here and then we're going to have an arc that does the same thing down here and we'll just bring that line if there's a gap you can just join that gap with a line okay now next we're going to bring a line down on this side and a line down on this side and we're going to maybe this one's a little bit longer so I'm going to even that up there we go now we're going to have a line go straight across watch this have it start in line with these these groups up here come down and then start your line right there same thing on this side you can just point put a little point on the page so you know where you're drawing to. And you're gonna go straight across, just like that. Okay, now we'll do the same thing. We're gonna do another line, the same length, right below it, just like that. And then you can close off the ends with a short line down. Look at that. Good job. All right, now we're going to add another line here and then another line on this side just like that and then we're going to add a circle because that's the, the the face of the clock so right about here we'll have a circle come around just 
like that. Looks good. Now we can put where the numbers would be. We're not going to actually draw the numbers on the clock. We're going to draw little circles where the numbers would be, okay? So we'll start at the top and we'll draw a little circle. And then at the bottom, right across from it, we're gonna draw another little circle. Now on this side, we'll draw a circle. And then right across from that over here, we'll draw another circle. So you should have a drawing that looks like this. We have four small circles in this one bigger circle. And they should all be evenly spaced. Next, we're going to do two more circles in between each group. So you see this space in here around that we go around the circle. We're going to fill those in with more circles. So watch, we'll do two in each section. Do one here and then one in between these two. So now you have four small circles in a row. We're going to do the same thing here. We'll do a circle here and then a circle here. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles in a row. And then we'll do one here and then another here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten circles in a row. Okay, and then we're gonna do one here and another here. And then we have, well, let's start at this circle and we'll count all the way around. That's how you would count on a clock face. This would be number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 hours on the clock. Okay, so very good job following along. Next, we're going to put another circle right in the middle. Right there. And we're going to put the hands of the clock. We'll do a short line that points up in this direction and then a little bit longer line that's going to point over in this direction we'll have it go right to where three o'clock would be okay so this is a short line and then a long line over there now we go to the number three all right next we're going to draw the rest of the clock Okay, so on this side, we're going to do a long line down the page to about here and stop. And then we're going to do another long line down the page to about here and then stop. And then we're going to do another long line all the way down the page to here and stop. And then we're going to do another long line all the way down the page to here and stop. And now we're going to draw two rectangles. Start over here and we'll go across all the way and stop and then down and then over and then up. There's one rectangle. And we're going to draw another rectangle inside right here. We'll start here and we'll go down and then over and then up. And then we're just going to join that all the way across, just like that. So now we have two rectangles there. Next, we're going to draw a short line on this side and a short line on this side. And now we'll have a line that comes down on this side to the floor and a line that comes down on this side to the floor. Next, we'll do a line that comes in, and then a line that comes in toward the center on this side. Next, we'll do an arc that goes up, stops, and on this side, we'll have it go up and stop, and then we're going to join these two arcs with a line to go across, just like that. Okay, and we'll put a floor line so we see that there's a floor that goes across. So we'll just do, take a thick black line and we'll just have that go right along the bottom here all the way across. So it, makes, it looks, like, looks like the grandfather clock is sitting on the floor. Next, 
we will add an arc here, start on this side, and the arc will go around and then stop. And then at the bottom, we're gonna do the opposite way. It'll start here and I'll go up and then stop. Now we will connect these two lines here with a line. And then the same thing on this side, we'll connect these two with a line. <clears throat> and we're almost done, look at this. We'll do three lines now. One, two, all the way down and stop. And then three, like that. Now we'll do two rectangles. Start over here, we'll go over, down, over, and up. Start right here, we'll go over, down, over, and up. So we have our two rectangles. And now we'll add a circle for the bottom for where the pendulum is. So the circle starts, well, we can start right here at the end of this line and we can have it go around and just close it. And then we'll put a small circle right in the middle of that circle. And there we have it, everyone. You just made a grandfather clock. Congratulations and great job following along. I am so proud of you. This is a very complex drawing, but we only needed four basic lines and shapes to make it. So what color are you going to make your grandfather clock? I sure hope you had fun drawing with me today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more drawing fun. I'll see you next time. Bye! For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw With Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D R A W with M R M I K E.